I'm Kat from 86 Eats, and today we're gonna to be making seitan, otherwise known as wheat meat. It is a great source of protein, a plant-based source of protein that you can make at home. So the first thing you have to do is put your onion in your food processor. It's all nice and minced up. You just dump everything else in with it. The most important ingredient is the vital wheat gluten. We have nutritional yeast, minced garlic, with a spice blend that is salt, turmeric, smoked paprika, and powdered mustard. We have flour, we have coconut aminos, but you could also use soy sauce. We have water, we have vegetable stock. Turn it on and it's gonna start forming a dough, so just watch it um, and let it come together. You're gonna take it. It's a little bit sticky. And dump it out on a work surface because even though you've mixed it up into the dough in your food processor, you're still gonna to wanna to knead it. And we're gonna quarter it. Stretchy. It's a little weird to cut. So if you could kind of pat them down into a uniformed disc shape. That way they're going to cook up evenly. They'll stay good in the refrigerator for about a week and you can freeze them for up to six months. You boil them for one hour and once they're done boiling, set them out on a plate, let them cool, and they're ready to slice and use however you want to use them. You can use them to make sandwiches. You can use them to make stew. You can batter and fry it. I feel like Bubba Gump. Like you can do anything with seitan that you would do with just about any meat. You could even take the cooked seitan and put it back in your food processor and grind it up if you wanted to use it for taco meat. Um, just use your imagination and seitan will do the job for you, I promise. 